How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I wanted to go over a few classes that I find are overrated in the game. Now, do keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. This is not me attacking your favorite class. And this is not me saying that you shouldn't use them. I just find them, in my humble personal opinion, to be overrated and not as good as people make them out to be. If you enjoy them, or if you have your own classes you think are overrated that people make out to be really good and in all they're not, let me know down below. I would love to uh, hear what you guys have to say, hear your talking points, you know, and that's what this video is about, creating a discussion, just to kind of have some fun, get other people's opinions, see what other people like and dislike, you know, so keep in mind, these are my choices for overrated classes that I think are not as good as people say they are. As you can tell by where I'm sitting, the first one is going to be the knight. Now, I'm not saying the knight's useless or bad in any way. I'm saying they're overrated. I get a lot of people telling me, a lot of people saying that knight is so great. It's the tankiest unit in the game. You, we, we got, like, the best skill in the game. Phalanx that reduces damage. Yada, yada, yada. Well, that's all good. You know, the knight is the tankiest unit in the game. The knight does have a skill, an auto skill, that is insanely powerful. There's two issues with that. One, the enemy AI is literally programmed to attack the weakest unit or the unit it can deal the most damage to. So if you proc Phalanx on your knight, the enemy's going to calculate or whatever it does. It's going to look and go, wow, I could do 10 damage to that knight. Or I could do 100 damage to that unit one tile away or two tiles away or three tiles away. Now, you can have Rampart Aura to keep the units by you, but remember, you either have to move into the unit or the unit has to move into the, your tile to, like, you know, trigger that aura effect so they can't get away or they only move one tile to get away. So, you know, I first saw this and I was just like, holy cow, dude, this is game changing. But like I said, the first issue, the AI is programmed not to attack stuff it can't deal a lot of damage to. Now, the second issue comes into the fact that the knight has no type of taunt or aggro mechanic in the game. There are a couple skills that, for whatever reason, the knight don't even have that kind of, like, taunt or generate aggro to an extent. But the knight don't have access to those. So, imagine playing any other video game where there's a tank, any MMO, whatever you want to name. You're the tank and you can't grab aggro. But man, you are squishy and you, you're, you're squishy. You are not squishy. You, you take like no damage, but you can't get anything to hit you because you can't get aggro. How does that make sense? And that's where I find the knight falls off is that it, it can't do what it's supposed to do. It's literally the tank of the game and it, it can't force stuff to attack it. Now, before everybody says, hey, corridors, little small areas, you're right. If you can get a two by two spot, Maybe a 3x3, three three, you know, just a little 3 tile width or a 2 tile width, which, mind you, most of those don't exist in the main, like, part of the game. Yeah, in Palace of the Dead, you start getting a little bit more confined and stuff, and maybe some of the temples, and but the majority of the maps, outside of, like, the castles, maybe in the main game, too, you are on an open field, and there's very little choice for you to lock down an area. Now, you could bring two or three knights, which I just find is a waste. But, I mean, if you want to do that to lock down areas and hold units back because you have nine liches or ranged units in the back trying to pelt stuff, I, I guess. I mean, go ahead. But it's going to be a lot harder to micromanage that. You know, I, I feel like that's a lot more work than what it's worth. But if you really want to play to that front line and lock down units, I mean, hey, more power to you. But that is why I find the knight to be overrated. It's just not able to do what it should do or what people say and that's not saying it can't you can you can with some effort and certain maps and maybe setting up things properly you can get it to be a little tank but until we until it has like some type of aggro system or a way to get units forcibly to attack it and until uh until that happens i don't know i just i can't i can't get behind the unit being you know so good i think it's good i think it's all right but it's definitely overrated now you're never going to guess what my next choice is. Yep, that's right. Good old Cleric Boy. Overrated as hell. Now, hold on. If you're doing a no in cap run or you're playing with special rules that you're enforcing on yourself and you're not playing the game the way the game intends you to play, then yes, a Cleric would probably be useful if you're doing a no item run, 
a no end cap run. You have to use a cleric. You have no other choice because you're purposely making the game harder for yourself and eliminating stuff that was supposed to be used by the player in the game. So do keep in mind if you do those things, this doesn't apply to you. This, this applies to people that are playing the game the normal way, the way it was meant to be played. You don't need a cleric for 90% of the main game. Chapter 1 is when the cleric is the best. Chapter 1, you got heal 1. It's like 150 heal. <sighs> Maybe 200, if you're lucky, I guess, on a good roll. Units have like 300 hit points. 200 hit points. Like, it's great. Chapter 1, cleric... Bro, I was so behind the cleric in chapter one. I was like, this unit, this guy, this is this is a cleric. This is how it should be. And then chapter two hit, and I was like, I got heal two now? What's going on? What? Why is it only 250? What? It's not even 300. My units almost have 1,000 hit points. And it all went downhill from there. It all went downhill from there. I had a cleric in every battle through all of chapter one. You could almost say I was a believer, and I was so, like... I was so hurt by what the cleric turned out being that I wound up hating and loathing the cleric. I used to be a brother of the cloth. I used to love the cleric. I was so ready in this game. I was like, finally, we have a cleric. I bet this guy gets like, I bet this guy gets holy attacks and, and all this stuff. No, no, he didn't. He didn't get any holy attacks. He didn't get any light magic attacks. At least not throughout. You can get a couple way later, but... I was just like, this is, this is inexcusable. So as you can tell, by chapter two, my love for the cleric was almost dead. And by chapter three, I was like, I don't even need this guy when there's how many other units that can heal. And then, to top it all off, you throw in items. The items in this game are so strong. They are, they, it's just, it's nutty. And yeah, the RT penalty, whatever. You know what? The enemy doesn't even... RT is great if you're min-maxing, like, going crazy with the game. But the enemy doesn't even manipulate their RT. The AI does not manipulate their RT. They don't boon of swiftness themselves. They don't lower your RT. So you're literally playing with a mechanic that the AI doesn't even know exists. So, like, if you just left RT the way it was, nothing would happen because they're not benefiting from it. And if anything, they're not trying to hurt you with it. So I don't know. The RT, like, complaint for using items, I get it if you're, like, just try-harding to the max and being a min-maxer and just trying to outdo everything. I, I don't think the RT uh, penalty on uh, items is really that big of a deal, personally. But yeah, like I was saying, the items are just uh, 75%, you know, 100%, 50%. That, that is some insane, uh, insane healing. I wish, like, at heal 3... You got like 33% and then at heal 4 you got 50%. Then I would use the cleric all the time. But the fact like heal 1 is 150, heal 2 is 250, heal 3 is 350, and then heal 4 is 25%, right? And then you got major heal, which major heal can be useful. Major heal like 2, 3, like 1's kind of just like 150 to everybody and then you're just back down to basic heal. And it really depends on your party, though, too. I mean, obviously, look at this cleric. Level 40, not even 1,000 hit points. I mean, if you're going, like, all casters, like, look at this poor little poor little familiar, you know? You know, we got little archers here. You know, if you're, if you're playing with a bunch of squishies, then I guess a cleric works, because they only have, like, 1k hit points. Then it's not so bad using heal 3, you know, that heals for about 400. You're getting almost half their health. With a mother's blessing, yeah, you're definitely healing half their health, you know? So, you know, it really depends on the H pool of units, too, I guess I should clarify. You know, it's not like it's just bad in general, but like if you're running monsters or like knights, white knights, you know, I mean, look at some of these, look at the dragons are pushing a 3k, griffins are pushing 3k, you know, I, I would say the average human unit, it's looking like I don't have a lot of level 50s, obviously, as you can see, but if I'm trending HP, it's looking like the majority of tanky human units are going to finish around 2k, 2.5k. And the majority of monster units are about 3 to 3.5k. And then squishies probably end at about 1500. Like, you know, warlocks and wizards on the total HP pools. So, that that looks like to be... I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already have level 50s. And you obviously know what, you know, HP pools, a lot of things end at. But anyway, so aside from knocking on the fact that they suck at healing, they also don't really deal damage. 
So those are my two problems with them. And I know in Palace of the Dead they are useful, and I agree. I agree. I think if you're in Palace of the Dead, maybe having a cleric would be nice. But honestly, honestly, what I would just run over a cleric is I would just run Koshua. I would just go Princess. Princess is the cleric we all wanted but never deserved. She does everything a cleric does and more. I mean, the fact that she has access to offensive magic and just so many other little useful little things that you wouldn't even think you wanted on a cleric. And I know she's not set up perfectly right here because I really haven't used her. I don't know why I have a cudgel. I mean, I, spell. Okay, I think she started with that. Anyway, this isn't about Kashua. But I don't want to ramble, guys, because, like, I could make a video. I could, I could talk for 30 minutes about the cleric and why I think they did him dirty in this game. I could. I could. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. This video's already been over 10 minutes. I'm sure you're sick of me rambling and hating on the cleric. <laughs> but hey, it's okay. It's kind of a meme around here. If you've been around in my Tactics Ogre videos since the beginning, you kind of... It's kind of a funny little joke meme, you know? And I don't hate the cleric, okay, guys? I don't think it's totally garbage. I just think the cleric's overrated, and I think the knight's overrated. Those are probably the two classes in the game that I just have the most animosity towards, and I don't know why. I don't know what the knight ever did to me. I think it was the same thing. I had the expectation of the knight, and then he wasn't what I wanted him to be, and I got I was like, I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed, I got backstabbed, you know? Like, he's not a tank, because he can't tank, unless really specific certain conditions are met, and we're just getting into a whole nother ramble. You know what, maybe, Maybe in the future I'll make a long video about me ranting and rambling about the knight, and we'll do one about the cleric. You let me know. Does that sound fun? Do you want to listen to a 33-year-old man that just woke up an hour ago, sipping on a, sipping on some coffee or some monster, getting all hyped up for the day, getting ready to go to work? Do you want him to just ramble about classes in a video game and go on a tangent? Man, I don't know. That sounds like it's not a fun thing. But hey maybe it is but let me know what you guys think let me know how you feel do you think these classes are overrated do you have your own choices i would love to see them i would love to talk about it thank you guys so much i do read and try to respond to every comment because i just i enjoy interacting with you guys and you guys deserve and if you leave a comment you deserve to be responded to that's just kind of how i feel or at least known that i saw the comment so again guys thank you all so much for the love and support on the videos these last few months I hope to keep making more. Hopefully the Tactics Ogre content keeps going well. So far, it's, it's slowed down a little bit, but that's expected. So stay tuned for different videos, more games, more SRPGs, all that good stuff. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later guys. Peace.